AI in Google search is here. It's going to help you get better results, cleaner data, and it's going to speed up your workflow. My name is Seti, and this is another flipped classroom tutorial. Let's go onto the computer and have a look at what this new Google experience looks like. Now here you can see there are three main elements to what is currently available for the Google Labs search experience. We have the SGE or search generative experience. This is going to redefine how we use Google search and it's going to be a very different experience. We have code tips. It's going to give us specific code tips with some example code. And we have a function that allows us to add to sheets. So let's look at all three. We're going to jump onto Google. Now I am in Google with all of these activated. I'm preparing a unit on reptiles for the children in my class. And so I need some information on specific reptiles. Let's get some information about the green iguana. So I'm just going to type information on the green iguana. So information on green iguanas. And automatically you'll see it starts generating at the top. This is at SGE, that search generative experience. It is generating some interesting facts about green iguanas and it's always linking out to its sources. We can also click on show more and now we get more information. We also have a number of follow-up questions and this is where that generative AI comes in and you can have a conversation. So let's see, how long do green iguanas live? I'm going to ask it a follow-up question and it's going to try and find the answer give me those links, the sources, they can live up to 20 years. And now I can choose one of these suggested questions or I go to the bottom and I ask my own follow-up questions. What do they eat? It's going to again generate that response. It's always still feeding those websites with information. But here what I like is that it cleans and tidies it up. So here we have leafy greens, flowers, and it also gives you so many more different sources where you can find information. This is that SGE experience. And that brings us to the next one and that is adding to a sheet. So as I'm preparing for my unit, I also need some good websites for children about animals. And so I'm going to do that search. I'm getting back a list. I'm also getting again the generative AI but as I scroll down, I still get those standard results. Now let's say that, okay, this website, National Geographic for Kids, I can now add this to a sheet. This is great for my planning. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this sheet icon. I'm going to add a note. I'm going to add a note. I'm going to say great for the key stage one children, lots of videos, and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. I'm going to name this animal websites and create. It's going to add that link, that hyperlink from the search results into the website. Let's scroll down. Let's best, let's find another one. Let's say, okay, staying cool in the library. We're going to add this as well. Let's say a library links, library related animal links. And we're going to add that into the same spreadsheet animal websites. Let's go ahead and add that, click on done. Now we can open up this spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet that was generated for us using those links. And here we go, we have our first column. It has those links with the titles automatically hyperlinked. And then my notes are in the second column. Great example of how AI can help you to speed up your workflow or your brainstorming or research phase when you're just trying to collect as many links as possible. And then later with your team, you're going to go through them one at a time to really decide which ones you will use. And then the third AI experience within the new Google is to do with coding. So let's say that you're coding a little project or you're showing your children how to do something and they're stuck. They can't remember. How do I, how do I use a rounded border on a JavaScript element? We can just type it JavaScript rounded corner, enter, and it's automatically going to run that generative AI code experience. JavaScript rounded corner, it gives you the code and it gives you also a little bit more information. Let's say you need more information about JavaScript button events. You can do the same thing. Just type it in there 
automatically going to give you those examples with the code right there at the top. It is also going to explain where you might use this and then you can obviously evaluate this or say it was a poor response. So AI in Google search, this is a new Google, a completely different experience to the previous Google we had, but I must say I really, really like it. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this new experience, this new Google? Do you enjoy it? Did you prefer the previous one? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, just a quick thank you to all the channel members. You can see them right here. Thank you for supporting the channel and making all of this possible. Now, if you would like to become a channel member as well, you can click that join button at the bottom. But even just having you here watch these videos makes my day. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.